First of all, let me say that there are, according to the UN High Commissioner on Refugees, probably 21.3 million refugees. Only about 1% of those get resettled anywhere. And even though the United States leads the world in resettling refugees, we are not talking about millions and millions and millions and millions of refugees coming to the United States. We're really only talking about thousands uh, in any given year that come to the United States. Uh, what happens is the UN High Commission on Refugees, run by the UN, interviews people who say that they have a well-founded fear of persecution because of their religion, their nationality, their race, their political opinion, or because they belong to a social group that creates a fear of persecution. Then they go through a very, very complex process that takes 18 to 24 months in the best of times. There are several biometric checks that we make. There are several biography checks that we make. There are health checks that we make. It is a very, very intense procedure. It's interagency in the United States, Homeland Security, intelligence community, Justice Department, State Department, and all of that checking is done outside of the United States before a refugee gets admitted into this country. So it's a long process, many layers, and at the end of the process, before they are admitted here in the United States, there is yet one more full screening in case there's new information that has come on board since the start of the investigation.